हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ ट्रस्ट रूप वायर हाउस डिजाइन विथ हॉट रूप सेक्शन इन स्टार प्रो वर्शन बी आई टाइम एंड इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ए थ्री डायमेंशनल एनालाइज एंड डिजाइन ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट यू कैन सी हेयर इन द ड्राइंग एंड आई हैव ए ट्रस हेयर व्हिच इज माय मेन ट्रस दिस इज माय गैबल ट्रस सो आई हैव मेन ट्रस हेयर हेयर एंड द टू एंड गैबल ट्रस एंड टोटल बिल्डिंग लेंथ इज ऑलमोस्ट 42 मीटर एंड the width of the building is 23 meter approximately so i'm going to show you using star pro how you can do a complete structural design and analysis of this using hot roll section so i have this column which is w section and i have this is truss using angle so watch my video and hope you will learn how to do a complete design of this type of structure to start this video tutorial open star pro program the new project next yes finish close this window from this right side right has zero in this first cell and now you can see a node has been drawn here take this node cursor from this left side list select this one press control then c from your keyboard then control v from your keyboard and now i have a span of this truss is 22.5 meter and go to along x direction This is 22.5 meter. Then click OK. Now you can see another node has been drawn. Now you have two node in the plan. And now take this add beam cursor. Select this node. Click here and also click here on this node. Press Yes C from your keyboard to exit from the command. Now you can see if you double click on this beam. Now you can see the length is 22.5 meter. Now select this one. Click here this icon insert node. Add midpoint. OK. Delete this. A right side okay now copy this one i have a height of 24.5 meter then similar way you can use control c control v or you can use this transitional repeat command from here then y 4.5 click here this link step check this one then okay delete this one and this one delete okay now see here i have a truss total height is 4 meter so select this one again control c control v along y 4 meter okay now take this beam cursor draw this top member delete this one and now also join this two point okay now i have a total 1 2 3 4 5 segment of this half portion select this one then insert node this is 4 add end point 1 2 3 4 5 okay now take this node cursor again select all this intermediate node then click here transitional repeat y say go to 5 meter just a little bit higher than this top point then link step okay now you can select all this or select this one and this vertical new member go to here geometry then intersect selected members intersect okay okay select this upper portion of the additional post and press delete yes now draw the rest of the diagonal part of the truss click this point this point click this node this node click this node this node so half portion of the truss has been drawn select all this part except this vertical member and go to here this icon generate mirror now click on this icon here and i have to mirror this along this point and i'm going along yz plan so which is the by default checked here click here okay now you can see we have drawn our first main truss level now go to here from this left side list general then support create then pin support i pin type of support take this node cursor select this node and this node and assign to selected nodes assign yes okay now check your drawing i have total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 select everything go to here this transitional repeat command i have to go 
along Z the base spacing is 6 and the step should be 7 then ok now check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ok and now if I go to here this display holy structure now you can see all the tasks have been drawn but in case of the gable portion this way I have this grid line 1 and 8 I have intermediate column like this so if I go to save this model click here save as save at your convenience place in your computer ok uh, after saving now take this node cursor and select I have this node this node this node this node and also for here this one this one one after another this one this should go all the way bottom and will be connected with the column now click here transitional repeat this is along y this is minus 4.5 link steps okay and now select the bottom of this column click 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 and click now select this support 2 assign to selected node assign yes okay now from here this view list go to here this view from z and now just select this way drag your mouse this way to select this node and drag your mouse holding down the control key drag your mouse this way drag your mouse this way to select all the node on these corners and then go to here geometry then connect beam along i have z axis yes now you can see we have already completed our just 3d model of our trust to power house using line diagram if you see here this standard view there will be nothing except the line so you can see we have already drawn our 3d member now we have to define our member as i have said i am going to use all hot roll section here for this my this project it, go to here general then geometry again general and now from here this right side window property click here section database and i want to use w section for my column so under american w shape from here select say w14 into 43 for my main column okay and some 10 by say 10 into 30 for my gable column yeah. and i have also trust member i have to define angle for my trust member so i'm going here this angle and here i have to define various angle i want say say 80 80 8 mm then add this is my top and bottom and i want for say 60 67 mm for my vertical and diagonals add i'm just defining these two in case of any necessity we will define more here then close and now from here select this first one go to here this view from z and select all this column this way right click new view okay and from here go to top view and select this column I have all this column same size I'm also counting this corner column as a main column but we have this 3d view now you can check Cle uh, make sure you have assigned to selected beams check then assign yes the next one is for my gable column select all this gable columns assign yes okay click here this view from Z and before that click here display holy structure now click here view from z okay now i have this for my top and bottom chord and this for my diagonal and vertical so select this third one select all this member by clicking one by one here and also this one this one hold down the control key to select variable member go to uh, this isometric view to check if everything is has been selected yes all the top and bottom code has been selected now assign ok again go to here uh, this v from z select this fourth member select all the other vertical and diagonal members 
you can also assign here variable member for diagonal vertical i'm just assigning it to a similar size right now to just show you the procedure you can change your size as per your requirement and anyway assign yes okay we have also this member here available you can see this member which is my start member so i have to define a size for my start member click here this section database i want to use a something pipe for that so just a very small size of pipe then add close now click here select then beam parallel to z now select it and now assign this pipe so so far we have completed our 3d model except the bracing and i have also bracing here at each alternate bay take here this command from add beam drop bracing at this bay then the next bay and also here and also here in this bay same way go to here i have here now go to here general and section database i have to define for and i want to use angle type bracing so from here select a size say 60 65 mm add close and now go to here select by specification uh, by missing attribute missing properties and now assign yes okay so we have completed our 3d modeling and here all the connection for a structure program is by different moment type connection so we have to define all the truss member as a truss member here otherwise it will be treated as moment moment type of connection to define all the truss member as a truss click here this specs from this left side list then click here beam truss add select this truss go to this beam view from z and select all this task member then check from here so we have also selected this okay now assign yes and the next i have this bracing and i have this bracing also will take only tension and compression so i will also define them as a truss member select them and assign yes okay and the next thing is all this member has no moment at this connection end and here if you see here i have this is hinge type of connection for between this truss and this post and this truss and this post and for this member i don't have any moment also for this member all this eastern member i don't have any moment so i have to double click on any member then click here this icon change releases at start and check this partial moment release check mpz and this is 0.99 so 99 percent moment will be released add the next click on this next one change release at end same way check this one partial moment release check mpj this is 0.99 add close okay so when you are under specs so from here select by specifications property names here i have this pipe for all this then press control deselect this one and select this start assign this end assign so all my this start member has been moment release right now and for my column i have to go here this view from z and for my all column i have no moment capacity here in this point so if i go here in 3d I double click on any column then add click here change release at end here partial moment release then mp this should be say 0.95 so 95 percent moment will be released there then add close now you can see a green circle here at the top of the column so we have to do this for all because the column and truss connection will not take any moment so go to here this view from it now select all this column this way go to here isometric view 
deselect all bracing type and now when in mp.95 is selected and assign to selected beams click here assign yes okay and after you have assigned all the member then you have to check for your column orientation go to here this symbol and label structure full sections apply okay now you can see i have this column orientated this direction and this column is also the same direction but if i check my drawing i have the gable column is oriented in the other direction so this one this one so this four columns should be changed the orientation to change the orientation you have to go to here this general then click here this beta angle create beta angle this should be 90 okay select this one and select all these columns you want to rotate that direction now select this one this one this one this one this one and click here assign yes now again go to here this symbol full sections apply okay now if you check you can see this column has been rotated so to rotate any column orientation you have to use the beta angle from here so my 3d model creation is almost done now we have to go for the load assigning and first i have to assign gravitational load which is dead and live load from here this left side list click here load definition then click the second one load case details add here first write dl add next one is ll and i have also wind load from left to right and from right to left so i will do w l to r so left to right and also w r to l right to left add now close here select this dl add first add this self weight minus one factor add close select this one click here assign to view assign yes so all the self weight is now counted and if i check my load calculation here i have a wind load calculation as per my local code and you have to calculate your wind load for this type of structure as per your code requirement and for my roof dead load i have 0.2 kN 2.5 kN per meter square and for roof live load i have 0.625 kN per meter square and roof live load is as per my code and the dead load is for Parlin and sheeting weight if you have tiles then you may have this is greater than 0.25 kN per meter square and if you have any other material then you have the other type of load and i have my base spacing is 6 meter and i have uh, multiplied this 0.25 to 6 m and i have this 1.5 kN per meter on my middle uh, middle trusses and the live load is 3.75 which is multiplied by 6 and 0.6 to 5 and this is 3.75 which is for my interior trusses and half load for my exterior trusses so i will apply this load now on my trusses S select this one dl add member load i have dated 1.2 minus 1.2 this is gy add close ll add member load this is minus 3.75 then gy add and i have also a half of this load so i have 875 for my end bay then add close select this dead load again add member load i forget to assign this is minus oh, half of 1.2 is 0.6 add close okay now just you select all this top member right click new view okay here and see this view from y top view and first select this this load this is dead load 1.2 select all this trusses here then assign to selected beams assign yes and also select this live load 3.75 assign yes select this 1.6 dead load so select this truss and this truss only this is for my end okay this one assign okay now go to here this isometric view and now you can check the load has been assigned here 
okay so my dead load and live load assigning is done now i have to assign this win load and i have my win load here as per my this calculation and this image you can see here i have here 6.6 km per meter here 3.1 km per meter here 3.7 and here is 2.9 so i have to go here click here wl to our add and first i have load for my this column which is my windward wall select here member load this is gx and the load is 6.61 and next i have for my this truss member which is my windward roof and this is 3.09 which should be negative which is downward and this is also should be and this is local y and next i have for the leeward roof this is also minus 2.9 and local y and next i have for the leeward wall which is gy and the value is 2.9 this is out out of the building then add and all this load should be divided by 2 for my end bay so for this column i have the same load but half okay to do i am defining that again from a member sports first is 3.3 gy add next local y this is minus 1.5 almost add next is 1.45 add and the last one is 1.45 and this is gx then add close okay now if i want to add load click your left or a couple of time and when you are this way just select all this middle trusses frame this way this way this way check from isometric view okay right click new view okay now go to here view from z okay now now select this first one i have this load for my this all this column select here so all the column along this line will be selected now assign to selected beams assign okay second one i for this side assign okay third one i have for this side okay fourth one for my this column okay so if we go here you can see the load has been assigned for all this intermediate frame now go to here display holy structure top view select this way this one and also this one right click new view okay go to here view from z then this load will be for my this column assign next one will be for my this roof assign and then next one is for my this roof assign select this one and this is for my this column okay so now you can see the load for direction from left to right has been assigned and i have to assign this same load from this opposite direction which will be for right to left so select this wr2l add and from here member load select min uh, right here minus 6.61 which is gux add then i have minus 3.09 which is local y add minus 2.9 this is also local y add then i have opposite which is to uh, minus 2.9 which will be gx add and now i have to define for the half load so i have half load minus 3.3 gx add then minus 1.5 local y add minus 1.45 local y add and then this value is the last one is minus 1.45 add and this should be gx then add close so okay the similar way go to here this top view 
select all this intermediate process frame right click new ok go to view from z now select this load i have this load first for this column then assign to selected beams assign yes then next one is for my this roof assign next is for my this roof assign the fourth one is for my this columns assign now if you check from here now you can see the load has been assigned now view from uh, select top view select this frame and this frame right click new view and ok go to 3d view from z select this one this is for my this column then assign to selected beam assign yes this one for my this roof assign this one for my this roof assign this one for my this so we have assigned load for all the truss and column except this this gable column so i have also load for this gable column if i go here i have gable column load is 2.97 and as you see there is a two combination so you have to i am trying this first combination i have to also try after finalizing the size this next one so the maximum one will be accepted so you have to try using the this two combination upload i am just giving you a procedure and trying with this one combination so here i have a load for 2.97 then i have to go here when here select this wl to r add and i have the load along direction z so i have to define for member load then gz fast 2.79 one positive and another one will be 2.79 negative close for same for the wrtl here member load this is gz minus 2.79 add and positive 2.79 add close and also i have half load for my end end column so i have to define from a member gz so half is 1.39 so minus 1.39 gz add then 1.39 positive add close here for this one two add member force 1.39 first one is minus next one is plus add close ok now select this one wl2r select this load so this load will be for which is positive the load will be outward of the building so select this one this one this one this one assign to selected beam assign ok now you can see the load is coming out outward select this one and this should be for these columns okay they are going outward the same thing for here this i have to do for this end column select this load which is for this one and this one assign same way i have to assign this load first this one select this column this column this column assign to selected beams assign yes then the so i have made a mistake select this minus 2.79 which will be for this columns assign to selected beams assign yes then this minus 1.39 for these two columns assign okay select this positive one for these four columns assign then this one select this assign yes after you have assigned all the load case then you have to go for the load combination click here load case details add different combination first i have dl plus ll and select this live load and dead load pressing ctrl then click this right arrow add next i have dl plus wl to r everything should be one because i'm going to design this as 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 decode if you have lrp then you have to define as per your 
uh, LRFD requirement and also as per your code requirement this combination might be different so this one and this one this right arrow add again dl plus wr to l this one this one here add close and after you have assigned all the load on your structure then you have to go for analysis to do analysis first go to here this command tab then analysis then perform analysis okay go to here this analyze tab then run analysis save it will take some time depending on the structure you have and you can see I have an error here if I go to here done view output file I have an error so you can check if you have any type of error no identity is specified in load type 1 so if you go here I have this in load type 1 I have to delete by mistake I define this one delete and now go to here analyze run analysis save it will take some time depending on your structure size and go to post processing done ok and when your analysis is done then go to here this icon start editor from here find analysis enter and below this analysis write load list and I have load list is my combination 5 to 7 so you have to define here this load list otherwise the combination might be ignored while designing this total structure so to confirm that it is considering all the combination you will define here load list 5 to 7 if you have more load case then you have to define here which is only for load combination then I have 5 to 7 that's why I am defining load list 5 to 7 save close and now after you have completed your analysis now you can check your shear force bending moment or some other parameter which is axial force or tension or compression for my trust member but I am not going to check right now I am going for the design now so click here this step design at the left side and from here select your desired code I have a AISCSD you might have any other code then define parameter from here define the yield strength FYLD I have 345,000 then add you might have any other grade I have this grade then go to here UNT I have this is unsupported length is 0.1 meter because my parallel spacing is 1 meter at the top of the trusses so I will define the unsupported length for this top chord of my trusses is 1 meter then add close now go to bottom here select this one click here assign to view then assign yes select this one UNT and go to here this view from Z select all this top part of all the trusses and now assign to selected beams assigns yes okay now go to here this command tab here then click here this check icon add also you can see a take up of our, your whole structure or your partial structure just uh, select this take up add close now go below select the save code and assign to assign to view from here assign yes and this one also assign to views is still take up assign yes okay after you have assigned the design parameter then again go to here analyze step run analysis save then click here go to post processing mode down hold down the control key and rotate your mouse wheel it is just showing the deflection you just click here here this symbol deflection okay and now click at this beam icon and then check unity and now from here you can check the available value go to here this top view select any middle truss right click new view just to check it clearly and now you can see here is the unity which is the value less than one so you have to confirm all the values less than one but not too much less than one just approximately one and i have this value is 0.216 which is a little bit lower than one and also all the value is lower than one so i can reduce the size of this column and also for this trust member too so go to here 
modeling then general from here change this to some other size so i have 14 43 double click on this from here check you can change say w 1426 click at change yes close and here i have this is 8080l888 i am going to change this to say 6060 uh, no. say 6068 then click here change close and i have this one is 6067 double click on this i want to change this to say 5056 change close now again go to here analyze run analysis save go to post processing mode done okay click here beam you need to check now you can see this is 0 0.78 this is 0 0.78 so almost one so this way you can optimize your size so this size should be in such a way so that the unity is almost one so i hope you can change this value more and you can optimize your model this way and if you want to check the other parameter from here say if i want to check for this double click on this column from here click here still design and you can check here the load combination governing for this column design is 7 and some other value here and going to here share bending you can check here bending moment here by selecting this one bending and also change here various combination and also share force changing various combination from here and click here deflection you can also check deflection from here okay same way if you double click on any trust member then still design you can see here this is load combination 5 the governing combination and and here is the fx which is the force and which is t so the design value for this one i mean the tension on compression is 120 which is kilo newton and this is tension this member is govern uh, producing tension and double click on this one then still design you can see this one 108 kilo newton and this one has compression so from here you can check the value and you can also pick this value and check this member manually so here and also going to here here from here this icon axial force you can check tension or compression and going to here result then the view value beam result then axial ends annotate close you can also see well from here press control ro ro rotate your mouse wheel and now you can see the value too and by double clicking on any member you can also see well from here and okay now the another thing is if you want to check the deflection you can do hold down the control key and rotate your mouse wheel now you can see first click here this icon which is deflection then results view value beam results displacement check this one maximum result and annotate close from here you can see the deflection available so if you go to here this dln ll so i have maximum deflection is 14.3 so as per my code allowance i have to check this if this is okay or not so you may have different code and you have to check this and going to here this say ll you can also check the letter uh, deflection from here or go to here select beam parallel to y right or only select this column right click new view okay and now you can check going to here result view value beam result displacement maximum result and annotate close now you can check going to here various combination so this is the way of checking various forces from here and if you want to check moment click here this icon then click here bending moment now going to here result view value beam result then moment check these three annotate close now you can see the value and change from here various combination and you can change see the value here available okay now there is another important thing you have to know the reaction of is supports go to here click this icon display holy structure and this b from z take this node cursor select all the node of the support right click new view okay go to here this isometric view 
hold down the shift key then press k then s then n okay now you can see the node number is displaying here for each node take a picture right now here take a picture okay then go to here file record setup from here the job information you can show here or you can just move here to not if you don't want to show with your reactions then from here pictures select this picture and move it to this right side box then go to here again this icon output find here reaction reaction move it to here this right side box and now go to load cases from here select the dead load live load win load left to right right to left and move this to left side box and i want to check my reaction for this combination only now okay again go to here file then print preview report now you can check your reaction here for all the nodes click here print then this should be adobe pdf so you might have you must be adobe writer in installed or any other program to make this pdf then click here properties select here say any page size either a4 or a3 then ok ok then it will ask for save save with a name now you can see this is your reaction output and you can check the reaction available from here ok now close this one so this is the procedure and i have tried to show you all the procedure of doing this complete structure design and this is a steel warehouse with truss roof so i hope you have understood this procedure and i have only showed you uh, this middle uh, trusses and you have to also check this end trusses and column also so thanks for watching my this video and hope to see you in any uh, next video mm -hmm.